Welcome guests. Welcome to Asian at Home. Today I'm going to show you how to make burner squash fries and my version of miso shiru, which is miso soup. <laughs> and I'm going to serve with just cook the cook the fish together, just pan fry it. So I prepared for the burner squash rice. Here's the one and a half cup of the rice that I soak in the water for 30 minutes. And here's a two cup of a half inch cut, half inch cubes burner squash. And here's a one and a half cup of chicken stock. And I put, I don't know if you can see it or not, I put a little bit of dried kelp right down here so I can have a little more flavor from the chicken stock and I'm using same amount of the rice and the liquid because I soak this rice already in the cold water so here medium sized saucepan I'm going to pull this soft rice and I'm going to pull this chicken stock and the kelp also this dried seaweed right here Cover on the high heat, bring to boil as normally how I cook the rice, right? And I'm going to stir one time when it's a uh, uh, come to the boil. I'm going to stir one time and then cover medium heat, medium low heat, simmer for five minutes. Then I'm going to add this burner squash and cook another additional five minutes and let it sit down for five uh, ten minutes. Then they'll be done. Easy, huh? It's been five minutes. Look, oh my gosh! It absorbed all the chicken broth already. I'm going to pour this for another squash. So now it's been five minutes. I'm going to just remove from the heat. <laughs> and I will let it sit for 10 minutes. Let it rest. So here is a four cups of dashi stock. And I I'm going to bring this to boil and if you don't know how to make dashi stock just go visit my website sangyanglongest.com and you will see my tips video over there all right and I prepared here this um, farm tofu and the chopped green onion in here already like so you can put this tofu and chopped green onion into the soup and bring boil together but I just like this way better I don't know because it's more delicate and here is a um, quarter cup of miso and if you go to the store there's tons of different kinds of company and different types of miso so you can kind of confuse okay I just want to make miso soup but what kind of miso should I get right there's uh, so many variety of the miso but basically it's a white red and there's another one yellow which is a mixture of the red miso and white miso white miso is a more slightly more lighter flavor and red miso is a lot stronger and saltier and it's kind of little sounds because I'm cooking my fish right now <laughs> so this is a yellow miso which is a mixture of the red and white I just flipped over the fish and that fish clip is the Atka Atka Micro which is all in, it's already salted fish so I didn't have to season it I just uh, dust with the cornstarch so it's a bit more extra crunch outside okay. now it's boiling I'm going to pull this a little bit of Tashi stock into the miso because I don't want any chunk of miso in my miso shiru. Nice paste, and now I'm going to add it. As soon as you add the miso, you just stir it and turn up the heat. This is one of great tips when you make a miso 
shiru that you have to turn off the heat right away after you add the miso because as long as you boiling the miso shiru you will lose all the miso's natural flavor all right this looks so amazing i love it i love korean bean paste soup which is a tenjang jjigae I love it, but same sometimes I just want this easy to go taste on my mouth. Not strong, natural, light. And here's the fish I cooked earlier. Alright, da 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 da! My burner squash rice! It's been 10 minutes. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that. Stir it well. Oh, and Get rid of this combo. It's done. It's job. <laughs> Rice bowl. Isn't it look gorgeous? I like this one. And this one. Alright, in this rice, in here, I'm going to add one tablespoon of butter for my husband, one teaspoon of sesame oil. For myself, and add your favorite soy sauce, light soy sauce, dark soy sauce, regular soy sauce, or this tamari, which is Japanese dark soy sauce. Really good. <laughs> I love this one. Okay, we are ready to eat. Borono squash rice. this recipe for your fall dinner or lunch doesn't matter <laughs> for your family they will not appreciate it and they will not love it so much like my husband does <laughs> thank you for watching me today and remember you can always cook Asian food at your house making it easy and fun I'm Sun Young Long Guest and this is Asian at home Bye guys! Thank you for watching! Mm -hmm.